Hi, are you Mr. Greg Frank? Yes, you must be the treehouse detectives. I hear you have some beetroot dishes for me to look at. This is the one from the treehouse. This is the control dish. It looks like you've been very careful in labeling these dishes. We made sure that each dish was only open for 10 minutes at the same time of day so that any microbes would have the same chance of growing. And to make sure we were manipulating only one variable, we've kept them together for the last 24 hours. So they had the same growing condition. Well, let's take a look at them under this dark field colony counter. It will illuminate the colonies and make them larger. Wow, this is pretty cool. I count 45 colonies in the treehouse dish. I couldn't see anything yesterday. What's happened? Individual bacterial cells are so small, they're hard to see with your eye and even some microscopes. However, they grow so rapidly that over a 24-hour period, they grow from one to a thousand cells, and that's what you're seeing in these colonies. There are about 15 colonies in my dish. The control dish doesn't have any colonies. Why do you think the treehouse has more colonies? I think it has something to do with the fact that the treehouse is outside. That could be one reason. Dr. D warned us that it's hard to control everything. Perhaps the treehouse is not as isolated as you thought. We know that microbes like bacteria and viruses cause diseases, but we don't know much about them. Can you tell us about microbes? It would be very difficult to show you viruses since they are so small, but let's take a look at some bacteria. We can remove them from the inside of your mouth with this swab. RJ told us that there's bacteria inside us all the time, even when we're not sick. Let's wrap this on a clean microscope slide. Before we look at it, let's stain the cells so we can see them better. Let's magnify this a thousand times and project it up onto the TV monitor. There are lots of different shapes. What's the round one? That's a bacteria that we call a caucus. That one looks like a cylinder. What's it called? Yes, we call that a rod shape or a bacillus bacteria. That bacteria is round, but it's in chains. Yes, we call that a streptococcus. Is that like strep throat? Does that mean I'm sick? Not necessarily. There are other bacteria that look like the strep throat kind, but they're actually beneficial to us. Are you saying that bacteria can be helpful? Most bacteria are good, and in fact, we couldn't survive without them. I never thought about bacteria being good. Think about termites. As you know, termites eat wood, but they cannot digest it. It is the bacteria in their gut that digests the wood. This is also true of our own stomachs, where a bacteria known as E. coli helps us digest our own food and produce vitamins. What about the bad bacteria? Some bacteria enters our cells and destroys them from within. Others produce very deadly toxins like botulism. If bacteria can multiply so fast and cause such damage to the body, how do we survive? The body has its own defense system to fight off disease. It's called the immune system, and most of the time, it keeps us pretty healthy. Sounds like we need to learn more about the immune system. Thanks, Mr. Frank. You're welcome. Good luck, and come back if you need anything else.